is a video based training module on net present value created by businesstraining.com. Welcome everyone. The goal of this presentation is to talk about net present value analysis, main rules and watchouts, and understand via a short calculation exercise how it can be done in Excel. We will discuss that money has a time value. It is essential to calculate net present values. We will review the present value formula. Also, we will go through a project evaluation example and review the basic rules of decision making between projects. Finally, we will cover a short net present value calculation exercise. In order to be able to calculate and understand what net present value is, you need to understand that money has a time value. Assuming a 10% interest rate, $100 invested today will be worth 110 in one year. $100 multiplied by 1.1. Conversely, $100 received one year from now is only worth $91.91 today. $100 divided by 1.1, assuming a 10% interest rate. The amount you receive today is called present value. The amount to be received in the future is called future value. To be able to decide between investment opportunities, we need to calculate the present values of future cash flows. The process of getting the present value of future cash flows is called discounting. As said, discounting is needed to be able to compare future cash flows at today's value terms. To summarize, present value is the, pr is the value today of a future cash flow. Discount factor is the present value of a $1 future payment. Discount rate is the interest rate used to compute present values of future cash flows. Let's see the formula on the next slide. Discount factor equals DF equals present value of $1. See the formula on the screen. R equals to interest rate. T equals the number of years. Discount factors can be used to compute the present value of any cash flow. Present value equals the discount factor times cash flow. Now we understand that money has a time value. In order to get the net present value of a project, we need to have the present value of future cash inflows and outflows. The next question is what discount rate should we use? In order to estimate the discount rate, we need to know what is our second best option to invest. What return will we get? This is called opportunity cost of capital, and this is the rate of return we can use in the discounting process to get the present value. An example, if equally risky investments in the capital market offer a return of 12%, then the cost of capital equals R equals 12%. This is the discount rate that we should use in our project calculation. Let's see a practical example of how to evaluate proje projects. My grandmother was a very wise woman, and she, and she taught me that getting a rich partner on time is very important in life. You may have heard this before. Now let's say I browse the various matchmaking sites on the internet, where I found two very nice possible future partners of mine. Let's call them partner one and partner two. We started to write to each other and also started dating. It turned out that I can expect 10 million from partner one and 20 million from partner two. Whom would you choose? What is the net present value of partner two? Yes, it's 10 million. So I would choose partner two at this point. Imagine. During the dates, it turns out that partner one gives me the 10 million now, but partner two gives me the 20 million 10 years from now. I know that I can invest the money at 8%. Whom would you choose? As I'm a financial analyst, before making any choice, I calculate the discounted revenue for partner two. 20 divided by 1 plus 0 point, uh, point 0.08 equals 9. Now I can compare them, so at this point I am in love with partner 1. The net present value is $1 million.
Now you can see the discounted revenue formula. We keep dating and it turns out there's an investment need. You know, be fit, sporty, have nice clothes. In order to catch partner one, there's a need for $2 million, $2 million immediate investment. Attracting partner two costs only $1 million. The discounted cash flow is equal, so I'm in love with both. Again, whom would you choose? It turns out to catch partner one, I have a 50% chance, while partner two is 99% willing to marry. Whom would you choose? What is the net present value? It's four million for partner two, so I choose him or her. Let's summarize what we have learned from our dating exercise. Options need to be gathered. Evaluation needs to be done versus second option, second best option. Remember opportunity cost of capital. Assumptions need to be collected for both scenarios. Cash flow needs to be calculated within project life. Cash flows need to be discounted to present the two present to get net present value. Results need to be risk adjusted. Now we will see an exercise. What is the present value of $400 at 7% or at 12% cost of capital? At 12%, at 12% cost of capital, the present value is 357. At 7% cost of capital is 374. What can we learn from this difference? The answer is higher risk projects require a higher rate of return. Having the net present value calculated, the question becomes, how to decide between projects? Accept investments that offer rates of return in excess of their opportunity cost of capital. Let's see this example. In the project listed below, the foregone investment opportunity is 12%. Should we do the project? As a calculated return is 14% higher than the opportunity cost of capital, yes, we should do the project. Accept investments that have positive net present value. Suppose we can invest $50 today and receive 60 in one year. Should we accept the project given the 10% expected return? As the calculated net present value is positive, yes, we should accept the project. The net present value ca calculation exercise. You have an option to buy a machine for $3,500 that will generate $1,000 income for five years that will, be, that will increase by 5% in each year. You use a straight line depreciation method and you fully depreciate the machine in five years. Your corporate tax rate is 25%. You also need to spend on maintenance 5% of the depreciation. You would get 10% return on the market if you invest your money elsewhere. Is it worth to invest into the machine? How much is the net present value? Try to solve this exercise alone at first. Then look at the solution on the next slide. You also have the opportunity to download this solution in Excel. In lines six and seven, we input the investment and the income data. The exercise says straight line depreciation over five years. So we decide that $3,500 by five and input. So we divide the $3,500 by five and then put it into line eight. Maintenance is calculated at 5% of depreciation. With this, we arrive at profit before tax. We calculate and subtract the tax rate at 25%. That leads us to profit after tax. Here an important point comes. We have to add back the depreciation as it does not have any cash flow effect. Remember, we need to have discounted cash flows to calculate net present value. Why we need to include it still? To include the tax effect into our model. Now having the tax and depreciation included, we have our cash flow. 
We have to discount it now to be able to calculate the net present value. We either calculate the discounted cash flow manually, or we can use the net present value function of Excel. We can find it in the insert function financial category net, or net uh, present value. From the bottom of the slide, you can download the file containing the solution and formula. We covered that money has a time value. One dollar worth one dollars worth more today than a one dollar tomorrow. When deciding on investments, it is essential to calculate and compare net present values. Higher risk projects require a higher rate of return. You can accept investments that offer rates of return in excess of their opportunity cost of capital and have positive present values. While investing options need to be gathered, we, we always evaluate projects versus second best option. Remember, opportunity cost of capital. Also, remember that cash flows need to be discounted to present to get net present value and results need to be risk adjusted. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.